Hi, dear friends. My name is Valeria Kuzmina, and I'm responsible for the attraction of new franchise partners uh, abroad. And, and today I would like uh, to tell you about the context uh, of our task um, and how cool and global it is. Could you please try to imagine our world in 195 countries uh, of the globe? Out of 195 countries, uh, in 15 countries uh, there is Dota Pizza, and we have 180 countries left uh, where we could open. But unfortunately, we cannot go to all of them because American Thai Pizza is uh, good uh, for developing countries. Uh, and if you take developing countries, our competitors uh, are not so strong there. So that is our goal to conquer the world. 90 countries uh, where we are ready to go. Let's imagine Egypt, for example. In Egypt, uh, there is a potential franchisor, for example, and this franchisee wants to open a brand, and, for example, this person gets interested in Dodo Pizza. Unfortunately, he cannot go to our pizza store, try our pizza, and understand that the concept is efficient and cool. Our task becomes even more difficult. As a matter of fact, I would say that we are like further who started to promote uh, franchise um, and he had to make sure that investors uh, trust him, trust uh, that uh, Dota Pizza has future. And despite all the complexity of the task, uh, we decided to set an ambitious goal for the next five years uh, to grow the number of countries by four times uh, and to grow the number of pizza stores by 20 times. But this task looks uh, really difficult uh, and impossible if you do not understand your value, if you don't know what you actually are. That was why we started to ask ourselves a question, who are we? And frankly speaking, we had doubts, because we thought, uh, are our ambitions uh, in line with what we offer? Perhaps uh, we offer something which is not relevant for a market. What if it's so? We didn't understand uh, what is sought after at the market. Um, and when I say market, I mean the market of uh, pizza franchises uh, in the world. Uh, we started to organize research, talk to the experts of the market, and we asked the same question to the experts. Uh, why are we interested for you? Why do you want to continue the communication with us. Uh, what uh, is uh, Dodo Pizza special about? Uh, what haven't you seen in, in the Domino's or Pizza Hut? And the answer was almost uh, always the same. They all said that Dodo Pizza was a different company. They said that Dodo Pizza was young, bold, and all in all, Dodo Pizza is completely different. Dodo Pizza is different from what the market can offer. Actually, it's a cool thing, because Dodo Pizza has a technological basis, um, our Dodo is, um, which uh, has been developing since day one. We are a cyborg company. What does that mean? It means that other brands uh, first uh, started to make hamburgers uh, or sell pizza, but Dodo Pizza started with pizza and technologies at the same time. And it's really cool. Because now, at the basis of uh, Dodo is uh, also other companies can work, and it's very important for investors. If you compare our technological platform with the, what our competitors have, then you can imagine a slide like that. Our franchising is like an iPhone in pizza franchising. And you know why? Because uh, in Dota is uh, you can find uh, whatever you need, it's very convenient and it's all in the cloud. If you compare our product um, with uh, the products of other pizza franchises, uh, they have really heavy products, they're quite clumsy. If you need to uh, start uh, working with a brand, you need to buy monitor, special equipment, you need to spend uh, about $30,000 simply to start. And this is the amount of money that you need to spend for your equipment and you need to maintain your equipment. Uh, we spent a lot of time to analyze different websites 
sides of our competitors uh, in different countries because uh, we work with potential prospects and it's very important for us to understand what the competitive environment is like. So when we analyzed uh, Domino's uh, or Pizza Hut uh, abroad, uh, we found some common patterns. Actually, in developing countries, um, the website of large brands sometimes look bad. What do I mean to say? It's like a JPEG pack picture. There's no application. In order to order a pizza, you have uh, to have a look uh, at the menu, which is in JPEG format, and sometimes the image is grainy. Have a look at the pizza and make a call with your phone. It has a significant impact on client experience, um, and we tackle the issue. We give our franchises a website and an application. That is why Dota Pizza is the fastest growing network in the world. But let's go back to our ambitious goal. This goal is about growing the number of countries and uh, growing the number of stores. Um, so right now, I'd like to tell you about the following. We decided uh, for ourselves um, who we are, and that helped us uh, to better answer the question, who do we look for? Like in the past, uh, we want to find people with similar values. Um, passionate, uh, cool entrepreneurs. Um, but the only thing that has changed uh, is that uh, we have uh, strict requirements for investments and experience. Now we understand that in order to overcome some difficulties uh, and in order to become really great abroad, uh, our partners have to have investment uh, and experience. So, how do we do this? I would divide uh, this task into three parts. First, we build awareness. How is it possible to build awareness? In order to build awareness of the brand, you need to, to be a household word. You need to be familiar to everybody. You need to make sure that everyone knows about you. So, Max Cotton's team works greatly with AWP YouTube and uh, Dota Brand's website. They organize PR activities. Then it's necessary to generate leads that uh, then become our potential franchises. And the last uh, part here is uh, working with conversion. So I would like to tell you in more details about each part of the task. Let's start with building awareness. As I have already told you, it's very important that our positioning is uh, communicated through different channels uh, and sources of information. We need to make sure that people hear about Dodo Pizza, that they are familiar with Dodo Pizza, and we want to do something bright and cool in order to build awareness of the brand so that it can bring more leads. Then it's necessary to get applications uh, or get leads. Um, let's start with our goal. Our goal for 2021 was to attract 45 uh, highly qualified leads. Highly qualified leads are potential franchises uh, that fit us uh, according to their target uh, competencies and that are interested in Dota Pizza that want to work with us and open stores together with us. Um, now we have uh, 32 highly qualified leads. Until the end of the year, we need to attract 13 more leads. It's quite uh, an ambitious task, right? But now our task uh, is uh, to grow this uh, number by four times. Um, I'd like to tell you about the sources uh, where you can take uh, the um, highly qualified leads from. I'm not going to tell you about uh, paid advertisement because it doesn't really work. And I'd like to tell you about other sources uh, of leads. We started to work uh, closely with ambassadors this year. These are experts of the market that helped us uh, find highly qualified leads. And such uh, ambassadors uh, are very conversional. They brought us really conversional leads. And this is what I mean. Imagine all the ambassadors uh, that uh, we agreed with and they brought six qualified leads uh, to us and out of six of them, three are going to come to us uh, 
this year. In addition to that, uh, there is such a source of highly qualified leads uh, is account-based marketing and it's also an interesting area of focus. We started to work with it this year. This is uh, like a reversed funnel where on top of it uh, we have a goal to determine whom we are searching for and then approach the people, try to find them, try to connect uh, them, uh, try to communicate with them, and then to agree on the meeting. It's also a great source of highly qualified leads, because here we can determine whom we actually need, and then we try to approach uh, people like that. I could speak about it forever, but I know that my time is limited, so I'd like to move on to the next slide. The next slide is about conversion. In order to work with conversion, we started uh, to work uh, with the uh, AMO CRM and we developed an auto funnel which is great uh, for potential franchises and those uh, who work with it. Now we can increase the number of people that work with sailing and we do not lose uh, quality and do not uh, we give the leads. We have great tasks uh, here, uh, auto-loading, transparent analytics, uh, we see what happens with our leads, and so on. Basically, if you are interested in that, uh, we could speak about it later. Plus, uh, we always try to come up with something special in our content that would be engaging and that would increase the conversion. For example, recently, together with PR and Communication, we made a 3D tour where franchisees uh, could uh, go to a pizza store and it's a great uh, instrument in order to engage uh, people who are lost or haven't uh, contacted us for a long time. Plus, uh, it's very important uh, to make sure that the quality of materials uh, is uh, great. Uh, a presentation should be like a pitch deck. Uh, a person should have a look at it and say immediately that Dota Pizza is exactly what I need. But these are some basic and unified tools. Uh, they do not work on serious stages. And when I speak about serious stages, I mean cases when potential franchises uh, demonstrate uh, a presentation uh, about Dota Pizza to the board. Uh, and uh, last time, we even had to develop uh, a presentation for 40 slides uh, that uh, was uh, related to this holding, to this country, to the analytics of the market. And we even made a video in order to pitch our franchise uh, in a really great way. It all depends on a stage. If the stage is serious, we need to provide a wow effect. Another serious stage, uh, that is the visa. Uh, so often we say that franchisee is about to come from, it's a franchisee from this and that country, and this is how it looks like. When a franchisee comes, uh, we prepare a special landing because it's very important for us uh, that the program is uh, developed uh, for according to their needs uh, so that uh, he or she can assess us and we can assess him or her to understand if it's a match or not. Um, we bring them to the stores or uh, show how operational system looks like. Uh, they get acquainted with Fyodor and then franchise it takes a decision if it's okay or not and then we move on to more serious stages like business planning or signing of some documents uh, like a memorandum of understanding. And now I would like uh, to move on to our plans for 2022. First of all, I already told you that our positioning changed. I already told you that we see ourselves differently now and we are going to inform people about it. So our new positioning should go through all channels of communication. In 2022, we will change the format of communication. It will be cool. You will be kept posted and we will share the news and stories with you for sure. One more moment is that in my presentation, I always told you we, we, we. 
and uh, I told you about the things we have done together. And right now, I want to tell you whom I meant under the word we. We is our IMF team, Anton, who is uh, the leader of uh, sales, uh, who is negotiations uh, with franchises, Renat, who develops the product uh, to make sure that our product remains relevant at the market, Sergey, that develops current franchises and makes sure that it's comfortable for them to work and they can grow and develop is uh, like a person between the head office and a franchisee. The team is great, uh, but we still lack people. Me and Anton are looking for a person that would help us uh, to promote and sell franchise. And Renat uh, is searching for market experts that would help uh, our franchises from abroad introduce uh, new instruments and make the system of marketing powerful and strong. That's it. I have finished my presentation. I truly hope that uh, in the future it will be possible to go to any country of the world and eat Dodo pizza there. Thank you.